What's going on, guys? I'm doing... I'm chasing smallies on the river today with the fly rod. So, I already had one bite. My dad had a bite. Uh, I wasn't recording, like usual, but it's okay. I'm using a, a five-rate rod right now, and I'm just throwing a streamer, a little woolly bugger, basically, for these guys, and just swinging the flies nice and right in the current. Trying to see if I can pick up a couple fish. Guys, I literally just lost one. As soon as I turned off the camera. That was so dumb. I watched him come up and absolutely hammer my streamer that I have on him. He missed it the first time because I pulled it out of the water too fast. I was just, oh again dude, come on. I can walk, I can see these smallies come in and eat my shoe. Got him. Ah, that was awesome. It's not a big one guys, but it's a smallie on that fly rod, on the fly. That's awesome. Absolutely annihilated with that. Look at that. I'll show you that. Oh, he popped off. Well, I felt him touch my leg, so I'm counting it. As soon as he kicked off, I think so. I'm definitely counting that smaller. That's three smallies I had in this one spot here. Oh my goodness, I just had another one. Are you kidding me? For the amount of fish I've lost tonight, that is crazy. Gosh, dang it, dude. They're not eating it all the way, they're just hitting it and then spitting it right away. Or at least that's why I feel like they're doing because I can't get a hook into them. Guys, I just caught another one. Got a freaking walleye. Freaking forgot to turn on the camera. And I was just casting, messing around here, and then I made a cast that I knew there was going to be a fish right by this rock here. And even, guys, I'll even show you. Catch, you don't even need a spinning, you don't need spinning gear for walleyes. I just, I'll show you guys how this guy ate it, I mean. Almost, uh, that guy's probably illegal. Ouch. Ooh, he got me with the hook. Stop it, stop it. Look at that. Just demolish that. Absolutely demolish this fly. But yeah, I'll show you guys this walleye right here. It's not a bad walleye. Almost a keeper. Probably 14, 14 and a half. Let him back in the water here. Thanks, buddy. Ouch. Ooh, almost just about hooked myself there. But yeah, there you go. I caught a freaking walleye on the fly rod, guys. That just proves to you that you can catch basically any species with the fly rod. Oh no. Alrighty guys, well I'm working my way back. I made it to the creek. Made it to a little creek here, so I'm gonna fish this creek really quick and see if I can pound couple smallies that usually sitting here I hope I can but we'll see because today's been a real struggle I should say wow almost went in the water again wipe you guys off here might have got a little water in you guys so I'll wipe you guys off and start fishing here 
freaking rolled my ankle on the rocks out out there so my ankle hurts right now but that's not gonna stop me from trying to catch some small ones or walleyes or whatever wants to bite I get a musty, that'd be even awesome. That'd be even better. That'd be a bonus right there. Oh, darn it. Come on. Just gotta keep moving here. Work my way nice and slowly up this little creek here. And see if I can get something to react to my streamers got him oh yeah that's not a bad small one make sure you guys are on yes you guys are on sorry about the lighting guys it's getting really dark out and trying to get catch a couple more fish here for you guys and... come on buddy stop 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 Stop. Let me just get you unhooked. Look at that, guys. Look at how he ate that fly. Absolutely demolished that. Get you unhooked here really quick, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Let him go right back in the water. And we'll keep doing that. Just keep moving upstream. And, or upriver here, I should say. I guess it's a stream, too. But we'll just keep moving up nice and slow here. And, See if we can pick off a couple more. Well, guys, I guess you could say it was a successful, successful outing. Only got a fish for probably like three hours. No, I wouldn't even say that. Like maybe an hour. Had roughly seven bites, eight bites on the fly rod here. And landed two, so the hookup ratio there is not, not good. Not what I would like it to be, but. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys did it means so much to me if you guys hit that like hit that subscribe button and if you guys have any other uh, ideas that you guys want me to do or if you guys have any other anything else that you guys would like to see just put it in the comments and I'll see if I can do it for I'll see if I can get it done and see if I can do what you guys want me to do ouch If it's really dark on the camera, I'm sorry about that. Just trying to get my trying to get one more fish. Cause if I can get one more fish, then it'll be all good and ready to go. What's up, guys? I just moved spots, or I shouldn't say that. It's the next day. I am fishing at the a little pond now. I'm not fishing at the river anymore. I am helping my buddy out with uh, stacking wood, but I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing first to see if I can get a video video out of today really quick here while I can before I go and stack wood. And again, I'm gonna be using the fly rod, using the five weight. Then see if I can pull a couple fish off with this and see what happens. See what happens. See if I can get anything. It's a little bit of a walk down in the pond, but we'll see if I can uh, nail a couple bass, bluegills, crappies. I fished this pond before. This pond is really good. It's really awesome. There's a little dock right here right away at the start here, so get my fly wet first before I start fishing. Water's a little dirtier than I'd like it to be, but it's 
okay. I will make it work. Ooh, it's awesomed up really quick here, so just gotta get it off the barb here. Alright. Got him. Look at that. That was awesome. That was sick. Now, this largemouth absolutely crushed the fly, guys. Not a big one, but hammered it. As soon as it landed, I just did a couple pops and boom. Just using that white white bunny bunny pattern that I was using yesterday let it fall down a little bit and then just pop it back and see if we can get some more more reaction bites And guys, I'll probably be going around this pond. I'll probably be fishing all, all the way around this pond. Or most of it. And I'm just fishing the streamer the same way I was fishing it yesterday on the river. Where I just let it fall and then I just start popping it back nice and nice and slow. But I'm gonna start making my way around. Guys, I got one. Oh, what the heck is that, yo? Oh, I got another bass on here. Guys, literally, as soon as I turned off that camera, there's... I don't get it. It's not a bad bass. It's probably like a three-pounder. Adirondack's a shoreline. Oh man, definitely taking me for a run though. At least I think it's a bass. Oh yeah, that's a nice bass there guys. On the freaking fly rod here. Just like what happened before, he ate it right next to the shoreline. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, even though you killed it, even though you killed this fly. Guys, I'll show you guys how you ate it. As soon as I get him in here. Oh no. No, get out of there. I don't want to pull on it either, really hard, because I'm not using super strong line here. Freaking... Buddy wrapped me up. Gosh darn it, dude. Let's see if I can get him without getting all soaked here. Oh, I almost have him. Oh no, my foot's starting to get wet. No! Stop! Oh yes, there we go. Bring it right in here now. Oh my. Guys, look at that. He absolutely annihilated that fly. Gone. Look at that fly. Gone. It's not a bad bass. Two pounder for sure. But again, I'll show you guys, absolutely annihilated that fly. Thanks, buddy.
All right, guys, let's do that again. But hopefully, he'll bite it when I have it on the camera this time. Again, I'm not doing anything too special. I'm just casting it out there, letting it sink down. I'm counting about four or five seconds on the side of my head. And then I just work it back. Just long strips, long strips, and then when they bite, you'll either feel it or you'll wa actually watch your fly line jolt forward. And I'm just going to keep moving down this way, nice and slow, making casts and seeing if I can get a couple more to bite. A lot of the bass in this pond like to cruise on the right by the shoreline, so that's probably why most of my bites that I get will be right next to the shore. Like, don't get me wrong, there'll be bass out that eat out in the middle too, but those will either be small ones or they'll be the ones that chase all the way back to the shoreline and then eat it. I know as soon as I turn off the camera, I'm going to get another one to bite me, so I don't want to turn off the camera. That's usually my luck. I go and I turn off the camera, and then my next cast that I make, boom, I get one to bite. And Why? I am not sure why. Got him. Again, right by the shoreline. Not a big one. Definitely not a big one, but... Man, he absolutely pounded it. Again, look at this, guys. Fly is absolutely destroyed right there. Just crushed it. Thanks, buddy. Right back in the water he goes and picks up my fly here. Toss it back in the water and see if I can do it again. Wow. See if I can... Make a couple more casts out here. See if I can po poke a couple more bass. And 